afternoon is Hugh Dallas, well, the well, man with him has the best of the country. He will come out behind well, the head of these players, there he is. And a warm reception as ever. Well, the bragging rights very much with the men from Dens Park at the moment. Unbeaten in the last six meetings, although four of these have ended in draws. So the opening stage of the match will obviously be very important in establishing a pattern. Sancho forced to react swiftly there. Pressure applied by Brady, the first corner kick of the match he goes to Andy United. See the direct route there, just getting the ball over the back of the defence, trying to get the defence turned around straight away. And the ball checking up, not running out there and causing a problem. So Andy United had the, uh, the first chance. In swinging corner kicks a very difficult one. It's very well won by Derek Suter in goal for Dundee. That will do him the world of good. Yeah. A clear body check there by Robson. Important touch there from uh, uh, from Suter. Does header? There's Dodds. Better play in the build-up from Dundee United. Here's Dodds again. McIntyre. Up to Robson supported. On the back by Archibald. This is good play from United. The delivery's not bad either. Turned back by McIntyre. Billy Dodds defied there by Suter. Splendid build up play by Dundee United and so close to the opening goal. Here's Anderson. Last fine defender by McCracken. No, it's not as a penalty kick. It's a penalty kick for the challenge by McCracken and Anderson. The United players are incensed, they're appealing furiously. But uh, Hugh Dallas was right on top of it, had a good view, I think, took the ball in there. And there... Uh, well, did he play the ball? That's the question. And level against Bullock. Oh, very tough on the goalkeeper, but it is the opening goal for Dundee. Almost a brilliant save by Bullock, but that won't matter to Steve Lovell. Here's Chris Innes. £75,000 he cost from Kilmarnock last year. Up goes McIntyre, hanging in the air, Dodds trying to find space. Back it goes for the shooting chance for Robson. Fine goalkeeping again by Derek Suter. <laughs> Head of away is by Sancho, but still United pinning Dundee back. Robson away from Brady, has good play by Robson. And Suter again makes the save, needs a Bit of a helping hand there from Sancho, but uh, Robson's the big threat for United on the left hand side. There's Callum McDonald. That's a good turn by Lovell, away from McCracken. Good delivery, a fine goal by Sutton! Goal number two for Dundee, and that was superbly created. Ball up the line from young Callum McDonald. Stevie Lovell, all that pace and strength to shrug the defender off. A great ball in. James Grady's coming off. I think you can tell by his face he's less than enchanted by that decision. Jason Scotland will replace him. Good throw out there by Bullock. Space found by Kerr. Target is McIntyre. Here's a chance for Scotland! Shear scored. Hit the top of the crossbar, but it was a wonderful chance. Great little clip into the far post here. McIntyre, Brent Sanjo just missing it completely. And must score there. Scotland must score. There's Robson. Oh, that's a good change of pace. Now Scotland. Duff is outside him. That's for Dodds. A good header and very close indeed. 
Well, oh, the closest jet in the second half for Dundee United. That's played in well towards McIntyre. It reaches Robson. This is promising. Plenty of support waiting in the middle. Can he deliver a cross? Yes, he can. And Scotland shot, rescued. Didn't get on that properly. The great ball, that ball into the far post again. Robson, the man we've just been talking about. This gets back there. Screws the ball back and it just comes off his knee there. That's a good ball in. And again, defending is good. It was Sutton. Here's Mark Wilson. Oh, Scotland again. The angle was too tight. Good positioning by Suter. Can it be enough for Dundee United? It doesn't look like it at the moment, but of course, it only takes a few seconds to score a goal as John Sutton was trying to prove there with a good spin and shot with his left foot. Well, I'm sure the stats will indicate that United are much more in this match than reality suggests. There's a fine header at last for Dundee United. Alan Archibald scores. Left unattended, bulleted that one home with great conviction. Great delivery in again here from the, from the corner. And a good, good header, nobody anywhere near in there. You know we're deep in to stop his time, indeed, there's no more of it. Referee Dallas brings the match to an end. Dundee have won the Tayside Derby yet again, did I say, and for United, major disappointment. So there we go, it's full time, and Dundee United 1, Dundee 2. I think goals change games, and uh, I think we all know that it wasn't a penalty, but I do think we made an awful lot of chances and had all the ball, and at the point when they scored, I thought uh, we, we were in control, control of the game, gave Dundee a lift, and the game went from there. That was Ian McCall and Dundee boss Jim Duffy is with us here in the studio and obviously delighted Jim Duffy. Oh, very happy. I mean, uh, I think uh, derby matches, uh, as any supporter will tell you, is about winning and uh, we managed to achieve that. So from our point of view, uh, we can't be anything less than ecstatic after the victory. What was, did the game plan go to plan, if you like? Well, a lot of it did. I mean, uh, I think that the Dundee United had one really clear-cut chance in the second half where Jason Scotland hit the bar. But the other ones, you know, I think were, were shots from angles or distance and, you know, Derek Suter got his angles right. And, uh, you know, we, we played a little bit counter-attack. But I think when we were 2-0 up, uh, I was a lot more confident this time than I had been in the past. And you can see what it means to your supporters at full-time, Jim. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people thought yesterday we would struggle. I think the vast majority of the pundits, and you know, would have tipped in the United because they've kept all of their side, I think, other than Charlie Miller brought in James Grady where we lost a, you know, a vast proportion of our side from last year and it was a new side mm -hmm. but th that new side showed a great commitment and uh, you know, I think the, the disappointing thing for me was there were a lot of talking points but no one mentioned the second goal mm. which I feel was a magnificent goal and uh, you know, maybe distracted but we, we didn't really get the credit we deserved for the type of football we played at times We'll talk about that goal in a minute Andy, what did you think of Dundee United's performance? Well, it wasn't the best. Uh, I'm one of those people that Jim's mentioned. I didn't fancy Dundee at all, but uh, they've went up there, they've matched uh, United's commitment. They've got two early goals, and obviously the big talking point would have been the penalty. I have to say it was soft, but uh, I'd be looking for it if I was a striker. I feel as though Anderson got to it first. That's enough to, to at least merit a claim. And I seem to remember a similar penalty at the same game last season where, where Billy Dodd seemed to go down quite easily so that uh, that even that one up. Jim, your view on the penalty? Yeah, I mean at the time I thought it was soft and uh, you've still seen it but I don't think uh, McCracken got the ball, I think Ian Anson just nicked it and he, he comes across him and from a few Dallas's angle he obviously thought that there was enough connection to make it a penalty but you know we mentioned before in derby matches, the, I think that was in 17 minutes uh, there was still possibly another 75 minutes to mm. go so you know they needed a lot of time to get back into the game but we scored early in the second half and that really gave us a breathing space Let's go on and win the match. Let's go over to Sarah and let's find out some views on that penalty incident. OK, thanks, lads. Now I'm joined by Dundee supporter Mel Mill from Brothy Ferry. Your Hi. views on the penalty? Um, yeah, after seeing the, the replays tonight, Sarah, I wasn't sure at the time. It was a controversial decision, but after seeing the replays tonight, I can understand why the referee made the decision. We're talking about Scotland's number one referee here. We'll take any controversial decision against the Arabs, I'm saying they would do the same with us. Uh, but let's, let's be honest about it. Controversy is what football, many of the facets of football is about. The sports writers get copy, the journalists have it. So we need controversy within the game. Uh, All right. 
uh, to me, it was a penalty. OK, we move over here. I'm joined by Andy Roster from Govan. Now, you are a Dundee United supporter. Yes. Tell me, penalty justified? Not at all. I don't think it was even close. Football's becoming a non-contact sport now. Any time a striker gets anywhere near a defender in the box, he goes down, and it's automatically a penalty. It's a disgraceful decision from supposedly Scotland's number one referee, and Hugh Dallas to make a decision like that needs to take a good long look at himself tonight. Well, this man's not happy, Jim. OK, well, this man is because he wants us to mention this second goal. Talk us through it, Jim. Yeah, I think it was a fantastic goal, a great build-up. I mean, Derek Trutter rolls the ball out to Callum McDonald, plays a lovely pass down the channel to Stevie Lovell. And Stevie, you know, gets his body in front, but great link-up play with his, with his partner, the striker. Plays a great ball across the face of the goal with pace on it. I know John Sutton's got to do is have the desire to get there and redirect it. And I think that's a text with the ball never left the floor. And that's the way of football, you know, I like to play football. But, you know, going back to, you know, the D90 fan there, he said there that there's a non-contact sport. And he's right. <laughs> Andy mentioned last year, B. Dodgy had a brief brush <laughs> with Matt Farnham and went down in the box and we were 2-1 up with five minutes to go and got a penalty. Sometimes it comes to you, sometimes it doesn't. It was soft, but um, we're delighted with the three points. Andy, United had chances, didn't they? Yeah, they did a few efforts in the second half, especially Jason Scotland. The one in particular where I feel as though it just clipped the top of the bar. Certainly the, the efforts they had in the first half. You're really looking for the boost of getting a goal at that time, but second half, all their, their better chances, uh, in particular from, from Jason Scotland, but uh, certainly Suter saving well. Jim, your goalkeeper had a great game. Yeah, he done very well. You know, I was uh, very pleased with him. He's a young goalkeeper that's had to bide his time. Um, he's played a few games for Scotland on 21s, and uh, I think he's grown in confidence, and that game will help him. But I think he's, it was more to do with his, his angles yesterday. He got all his angles right and made a lot of the saves relatively comfortable. And United, I said, one or two clear-cut chances. But overall, I thought we defended resolutely. And